Hello, today I'm going to share about the effect of carbon dioxide on oceans, which is known as ocean acidification. This is an example of real life application of chemistry that's affecting our life and affecting the environment that we are living in. Greenhouse effect, what is it? We all know that greenhouse effect happens when there's an increase in the amount of carbon dioxide in atmosphere. Due to industrial revolution, we have witnessed an increased amount of carbon dioxide released into atmosphere through combustion of fossil fuel and industrial activities and from emissions of motor vehicles. Of course, carbon dioxide is also released through processes before the revolution, such as respiration and decomposition of organic matter. All these processes release carbon dioxide. And the amount of carbon dioxide increases because the processes increase more carbon dioxide than the amount of carbon dioxide absorbed through photosynthesis and other carbon dioxide absorbing process. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas that absorbs heat, that absorbs infrared radiation from the sun, trapping the heat, keeping it within the atmosphere, and that causes a global rise in temperature. And the impacts are significant. So one of the impact of greenhouse effect is on the oceans. There is an increase of ocean temperature which affects the coral reef. Corals are stressed at higher temperature and they expel symbiotic algae from their tissues. By doing so, corals lose its main source of food, turn white or bleach, and become susceptible to diseases. In an article in 2017, Almost 75% of Japan's biggest coral reef has died from bleaching. If you look at the article, this is in Okinawa, the coral has turned brown, covered with algae. Now, what is coral bleaching? So if you look at the left, this is a diagram that shows how a healthy coral looks like. The coral and algae depend on each other to survive. So they maintain a symbiotic relationship with each other. The algae are the coral's primary food source and give them their, uh, their color. So the color, the beautiful colors of corals are actually given by the algae. Now, when the coral is stressed at higher temperature, the algae leaves the coral or is forced out from the coral. So this symbiotic relationship is stressed due to increased ocean temperature or pollutions. The algae are forced to leave the coral tissues. As a result, the coral become white or bleached and left vulnerable or susceptible to diseases. And soon, the coral will die because it lost its major source of food. What are the chemical reactions in ocean acidification? So what else does carbon dioxide do? Number one, carbon dioxide first dissolves in water. The dissolved carbon dioxide reacts with water and dissociates to form bicarbonate ions and hydrogen ions. So this is what happened when carbon dioxide dissolves in water, it will react with water to form bicarbonate and hydrogen ion. The ocean is basic at about pH 8.2. The concentration of hydrogen ions is considered to be relatively low. At pH 8.2, the hydroxide concentration is higher than the hydrogen ion. So with a lower concentration of hydrogen ion, the equilibrium position, according to Lech Shatira principle, will shift to the right because of increased carbon dioxide. Only 0.5% of carbon dioxide is found in seawater as dissolved carbon dioxide. Most of it 
actually reacts with water to form bicarbonate ions. With increased carbon dioxide in the ocean, more hydrogen ions are formed, which further decrease the pH of the ocean. As the acidity of ocean increases, there is a higher concentration of hydrogen ions, causing a shift of the equilibrium position to the left, as shown below. So with higher H plus concentration, equilibrium position according to the Shatira principle will shift to the left. That will cause the hydrogen carbonate ions to decrease in concentration as a result. Coral, plankton, shellfish use calcium ion and hydrogen carbonate ions to build their skeletons and shells, known as calcification, as shown in the equation below. So calcium ion is found in the ocean. It will react with hydrogen carbonate ions in the precipitation reaction to form the precipitate calcium carbonate. So this is the shell, the coral use. When the concentration of hydrogen carbonate ions is lesser because of increased H plus concentration, it's more difficult to form calcium carbonate and therefore shells do not form as readily. What are the economic risks? Now, currently 12% of world's population earn a living through fishing, accounting for nearly 150 billion worldwide in the 2014 uh, studies. Ocean acidification harm fish and shellfish that humans eat. And with the death of coral, it will impact the food chain ecosystem. So human beings and the animals will be affected by this. So let us stop ocean acidification because it's affecting our life. It's affecting the organisms in the marine world. So let us play our part to think of how we can reverse this effect. Thank you.